To start our research, we talked through what concepts the mission models represent. We also spent time with Ms. Smith, who actually teaches a water quality class, who helped us understand all of the ideas. We did some research on robotic farming. We found an interesting CNN article about drone farming. These drones deliver pesticides directly onto plants instead of spraying an entire area. This reduces the amount of pesticides used by 80%. We also found a Kickstarter project called FarmBot, which is a rail-based robotic system that plants seeds and water plants. This is the idea that we decided to work from. We thought the rail robot was great, but we wanted to incorporate the ability for our system to be able to conserve and reuse water. My family has a rain barrel at home. It collects the water that falls on the roof of our garage. The barrel holds 40 gallons of water and it fills up every time we get rain. We thought we could build a rail-based robotic watering system that uses rain barrel water as the supply. I built this model at home to represent our idea. We want to catch rain in a rain barrel and use it to water a garden with a robot that rides on rails over the garden. We decided to build a working model of our idea. We built the frame out of scrap boards from our lab, and we were able to reuse a rack gear rail system from an old Science Olympiad robot. We built a new platform for our robot to ride on. Some Science Olympiad students helped us 3D print a guide for our water hose. The hose gets open and closed by a clamp controlled by a worm gear. We decided to use an old NXT brain to run our project. This would be a good way to reuse some old technology that has been sitting around in a drawer for a few years. I still have an NXT brick at home that I play with. I know how to program it. I created the program that is running on our project. There are two versions, one that uses sonar and one that does not. On October 25th, we met with Heather Hillman from Grassroots Gardens. She represents the urban farming communities in Buffalo and Niagara Falls. We spent about an hour talking about our project. We focused on how it works and what the benefits of it were. Heather gave us a lot of good feedback on our project. She had a lot of questions and some suggestions on how we can improve our project.